Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is Monday and we are starting the new week. Uh, we are starting here in Michigan, in north of Michigan, close to Canada. It's pretty cold here, it's rainy, it feels like a, a middle of fall. I'm waiting for the guys to come out and um, start loading me. Uh, it seems like they don't really want to come outside. Uh, same as me, honestly. Uh, I don't really like to secure load outside when it's raining. Uh, but it is what it is, uh, so i rather start sooner and finish sooner rather than waiting and just, you know, hanging out in the truck. Besides that, I have to drive a lot of miles today, so hopefully they'll be outside uh, soon and um, we'll get this thing loaded. Hey guys, I just want to show you, it's raining like crazy outside and I want to show you how brokers doesn't have a clue, they still want me to tarp the wet load for some reason, it doesn't make any sense. Okie dokie, my dispatcher found me another pickup that is uh, on my way, that is also going to Georgia, about 30 miles away from my original destination, it's a pickup truck, um, so here it is, I already found it, it's in a parking lot uh, uh, right next to the school, so I'm actually parked over there illegally, so um, the owner dropped it here in a parking lot, so I need to find the keys and um, get this truck really uh, quick on my trailer and get back on the road because I have to drive a lot of miles today and it looks like I'm about to be um, a strong solo surgery today, if you know what I mean. Okay, truck on a trailer, it's totally make a difference than uh, loading this thing with the tarp and a heavy rain. But anyway, uh, we got paid for this truck $650 for 600 miles. And also I forgot to mention, for this load, uh, broker paid $1,700 for 920 miles. But I had a dead head about 350 miles. Um, so yeah. That's about it guys, let's hit the road because we got a lot of miles to drive today. Alright guys, believe it or not, but I'm in Georgia and I'm about to drop this pickup truck. How this has happened, how I got to the Georgia, please don't ask, only I can tell, it's all about this strong solo surgery. <laughs> All right, jokes aside, let's get to work.
Alrighty, we made it to the second stop in Georgia. Uh, about to untarp this load. And I'm really curious what they're gonna say about this bad tarp load. We'll see how it goes. But I have a good news, we already have another pickup. So let's get this tarp off and prepare for the next pickup. Alright guys, I made it for a pickup. I'm about 30 miles away from Atlanta, Georgia. Here at the shipper, I'm picking up uh, something like this. Hopefully not that big boy. Maybe something like this. Or something that is behind me. Got a check-in and uh, we're gonna figure it out. But I will also would like to tell you, uh, so yesterday uh, when I was uh, tarping on a rainy day, I was thinking to myself, uh, no, I rather tarp when it's sunny, you know, and uh, shiny, and I have blue sky. And today it's actually very sunny. It's a very warm day, and I'm like, ah, you know what? I probably rather tarp in a rainy day. But honestly, this is one of the things that I hate about this job: is tarping. So luckily, I don't have to tarp anything today. Let's go check in and let's see what are we getting. Show me then uh, how to operate this thing. Yeah, sure. So, of course, key, parking brake, reverse, drive, up, down. If you need it, push the button and it'll tilt. All right. That should be basically all you need. No gas, brake, I'm sure you know how to use those, steering wheel. Um, and then that'll switch your drive mode if need be. But. Actually, uh, can you back up a little bit? Back up? Yeah, uh, but try to make it a little bit to this side, closer to me. Yep, that, just like that. That was good, that was good.
Okay, let's straight it up. Yep. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, back. That's good. loaded with this at a little tractor or forklift whatever you want to call it i love these things you know you put those chains really quick easy and you're good to go or the car you know kind of the same thing so for this tractor we got paid um 950 dollars it's going to north carolina about 400 and i believe 30 miles Hopefully we'll get something else. What's up people? I'm already in North Carolina. Um, yesterday we were trying to find some partial that uh, could fit on this uh, part of the trailer that coming this way and we actually find a couple solutions but of course they were cancelled due to my new MC and then we found a vehicle and that I was about to pick up but I got stuck in a horrible traffic in Atlanta uh, so we had to cancel that one and I drove here only with that forklift which is paid okay uh, we, they paid a little bit over two dollars a mile but it could be way better I can come here with over three dollars a mile but you know as I said we're gonna have another month uh, like a tough month before we start getting some uh, tailwind anyway let's uh, bring this forklift down and get prepared for another load
I got loaded and uh, it's pretty interesting load it is oversized uh, but originally I when I came here I was very happy because I thought it's not oversized because that blue thing it's some kind of utility storage uh, container where they have like uh, pumps or compressors and it's actually fit perfectly on a trailer which I thought I got lucky but I didn't realize it has this box and that box make this load oversized so anyway uh, I put two chains uh, for this storage and uh, this is a compressor and it has some uh, two small pipes um, not small pipes but you know just the two pipes anyway this load going to main and broker paid for this load $4,500 which is not bad uh, it's about 890 miles plus uh, 120 miles uh, that head that I have it's um, basically comes to a uh, thousand miles for 4500 yeah that's about it let's get on the road and for this load I have to buy a permit for each state there's gonna cost me some money uh, I'll edit the cost of those permits uh, later when I get a bill but that's about it guys and we're getting back on the road one interesting fact guys so you know this is the US Army and this is the sign of a particular division I believe so and the guy who just loaded me he served for this uh, division imagine that that's kind of crazy What's up guys i made it to maine uh yesterday i drove so this transit took me uh two days and yesterday i drove almost 600 miles to the east coast i have been driving to the east coast for years and um kind of forgot how bad it is every city that i was going through it was like uh hell you know like so bad traffic plus my oversized which was not not that bad but still you know have to be more paying attention to the road and it drained my energy so badly at, at the end of the day I felt like I drove a thousand miles straight through honestly but I have a nice sleep um, I'm fully 
energized and uh, ready for another load. I'd like to get that one down and um, hopefully we'll get something cool today. It's gonna be a hard thing to do because we are upstate and Maine and um, you know, this area is not that great for the load, but you know, I always have a hope. Hey guys, today is May 31st and do you know what 1482 has to do with May 31st, 2011 for me? Probably no one know unless you know me very well. Today I'm in Massachusetts uh, loading up with this container and Massachusetts is really symbolic state for me because back in 1492 Christopher Columbus or discovered America and uh, similarly on uh, May 31st 2011 I opened America for myself when I landed in uh, Boston Massachusetts as a young boy this full of optimism and an American dream and since then it wasn't a day that I regretted my decision moving to United States I really love America I'm uh, really lucky to call it my home and I'm really thankful for my destiny. And also guys, I want you to remind you something. There are a lot of opportunities in this world, but you need to follow those three very important things. First of all, you need to imagine everything from the beginning to the end, your dream, your goal. Second, you need to have full belief on it. You need to have a faith on it. And the third, you need to work your butt off to get it. So with that said, let's make one more step closer to my dream. Let's chain down this container and let's get back on the road. guys our load is ready to go I was doing my best to leave some space on the front of a trailer with the hope that we can catch some partial because this load pay nothing we are going I believe 1600 miles for 1700 and that's it it's about a dollar a mile anyway I throw two chains one in the front and uh, actually three chains, one in the front and uh, two small chains on each side on the back of my trailer. And I also throw some uh, straps on each side of this dumpster just to make sure it's not going anywhere. Um, also throw two straps on this little, I don't even know what is this, but it has a thermometer, probably has some engine and um, yeah. That's about it guys, we are ready to rock.